I always train with a swimming. It provides me peace of mind, it provides me a safety net that only I control and that I am not relying on anybody else to save me. So I know that I, as a responsible triathlete, am part of the safety net. I'm not, it's not replacing anybody, it's just wearing a swim safety device for me feels like I am part of the whole safety program and that I can take care of myself. When I got into triathlon, I began training in the open water. My sons were coming with me because they were junior triathletes and excellent swimmers. Uh, during one training swim in the summertime, the weather got very bad and the conditions were sketchy at best. Um, the successful outcome of the swim was certainly in question. Um, as luck would have it, we all returned to shore and everybody was fine. But at that moment, I knew uh, what I was doing was counterintuitive to every piece of water safety that I had ever been taught. I began training with it. Uh, I quickly realized that uh, there was a great deal of interest in open water safety uh, during training swims. I approached USAT and worked with them for over a year in developing the swimmit and eventually uh, got a race legal version of the swimmit called the, uh, we, we originally called it our Gen 2, but uh, now it's called the swimmit. Uh, that was introduced in 2012. Um, in that year, there were 17 fatal swims uh, in USAT sanctioned events in the US uh, every weekend beginning from May to August. Um, again, in 2013, there were more fatal swims. However, there was a paradigm shift in the sport of triathlon. Um, major race organizations and governing bodies began to start safety initiatives for open water safety, uh, trying to lower the number of fatal swims in races. We're still having fatal swims, and, and already in 2014, we've already seen a fatal swim in Florida in January. There's more that can be done. And what I realized as I participate in triathlon and in long course and short course and during training events is that I'm responsible for my safety. Even though I might be surrounded by professionals, ultimately I am responsible for my safety, and I take that very seriously. Coming to the sport of triathlon as a professional ultra-distance runner, I started immediately in longer course events. And during my first 70.3, I suffered a debilitating panic attack, which resulted in my event nearly ending in the first 200 meters. Being out of control during a racing situation is something I just wasn't used to. So after that event, I resigned myself to the fact that open water swimming in uh, long course triathlon was just too risky. And I figured I would just involve myself in triathlon that had pool swims or no swims at all and just compete in duathlon. And as a last ditch effort, I looked for a swim safety device that was race legal and fortunately was able to find the Swimit. Within weeks of using my Swimit, I was uh, training and racing panic free in the open water and within six months completed my first Ironman triathlon. My feeling today is if there's no Swimit, there's no Ironman. In fact, um, I won't even swim in the open water at any distance without my Swimit. The swimming is what enabled me to make that leap from professional ultra distance runner to Ironman triathlete. For more videos, please go to www.myswimit.com. There you'll see that the swimming is easily repacked so it is reusable, it is race legal, and it is made in the USA. Buy your swimming at www.myswimit.com. Train like you race in the open water.